And so I, I was reading the words of this wonderful saint. His name is Saint or Blessed Pierre Giorgio Frassati. He's a wonderful, uh, wonderful saint to get to know. Very fun guy. Very adventurous guy. He loved rock climbing and mountain climbing and things like that. But he he talked about this phrase that maybe we missed. You know, there's like these little sometimes we call them like Easter eggs or little like golden nuggets that are here that we maybe miss. And it just says this. It says. The hand of the Lord was with them. We hear that a lot. We, we hear also, um, no one can take them out of my hand, is what Jesus is saying. And even in the Old Testament, you'll see this phrase, the hand of the Lord will protect them. The hand of the Lord will rescue them. And you see it over and over and over. And after a while, you might say to yourself, well, why do they keep saying the hand of the Lord? Think about what we can do with our hands. We can do so many things. We can hug someone. You can't just hug someone with your shoulders, right? But you can hug someone with your hands. You can lift up someone if they fall. You can protect someone if maybe there's something that's falling and you block it. You can defend someone who might be getting hurt by someone else. You can do so many different things. You can touch someone who maybe is afraid that they're all by themselves. Have you ever been afraid maybe it's dark out? Or I don't know about you, but I used to be afraid of the dark going down into my basement. Anyone ever afraid of that? Yeah. Especially like when the lights go out and all of a sudden you're like, wait, where's the, where is everybody? But just imagine this. Imagine you then feel the hand of someone that you know, maybe your mom or dad or big brother, big sister, right on your shoulder. How would you feel? Probably maybe peace. Maybe more peaceful than right before when you're by yourself and you're dark and you don't know which way is the right way. And imagine that the hand just comes on your shoulder and you hear the words, don't be afraid, I'm here. And maybe that person can take you by the shoulder and maybe just kind of move you to the door in order to get out of the dark place. When we hear about the hand of the Lord, guess who that hand is? It's Jesus. Jesus is the one that's able to show us the one who protects us, the one who feeds us. That's another thing that's nice about hands is we can be fed, just like your little, maybe little brothers and sisters. Have you ever played airplane with their food? I don't know if you guys do that now. I remember my, my mom would always do this with us when we were growing up, get like the little Gerber food or whatever, and then the, the little kid would be sitting in the high chair and you go, Because the baby at the beginning isn't able to just sort of like use the spoon themselves. They'll probably just throw the spoon away or throw it and get it stuck in your hair. So the hand of the Lord feeds us. The hand of the Lord picks us up. The hand of the Lord protects us. The hand of the Lord gives us a big hug. The hand of the Lord puts his hand on our shoulder and says, don't be afraid. Even though there's no lights around, I know the way out. And that hand of the Lord comes to us 
every single time we receive one of those sacraments. Sacrament's kind of a, it's kind of a big word. And there's kind of a big definition to it. It's a outward sign that brings with it an inside invisible grace. But what that means is just imagine closing your eyes right now. And just imagine someone giving you a big hug and saying, I love you. Or like I said before, you're in the dark basement and you have someone take you by the hand saying, don't be afraid, I will lead you out. Every time we receive one of the sacraments, it's really the hand of the Lord. It's Jesus touching us, feeding us, and letting us know that we're not alone. So when you guys receive Holy Communion for the first time, and you see that host, and you hear the words, the body of Christ, Jesus is bringing his hand out saying, take my hand. And what you can do in that moment is to say, Lord, in those areas that maybe I'm hungry, I'm not just hungry for hamburgers, but maybe hungry in my heart, hungry to know that I'm special, to know that I'm loved, to know that I'm cared for, to know that I'm a sheep in my shepherd's hands. You can say that in your heart when you see Jesus in that hidden way, but he's still very much there. And when you taste him on your tongue, that's Jesus reaching out, touching you, saying, I'm here, and I have great, great plans for you. The same thing when we go to confession. The priest lifts up his hand, not to give people five. Actually, it is kind of funny sometimes. Someone, I might like pray over someone, to do the absolution, and then they go like that. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. You know, they're like, yeah, mercy time, give me five. But when the priest goes like this, again, it's the hand of the Lord reaching out, saying, don't be afraid. You might have been in this dark, spooky place of sin, but I'm going to get you out of it, into the light again. We're going to go over and we're going to turn on that light bulb. And all that darkness is going to scatter. So those two sacraments, and our baptism, our confirmation, even the sacrament of marriage, the sacrament of priesthood, when someone is sick and they're anointed, all of those moments, every single sacrament, is God's special hand reaching out, touching us, feeding us, protecting us, casting away the spooky darkness, and sing to us as he holds his, our hand, you are loved. And that love will never ever go away.